What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, The Time Teller. So guys, there's a watch that's been featured very heavily on this channel ever since the beginning, ever since I started here on YouTube, and inevitably I get a bunch of questions about it, like why did you end up with that one? Why did you choose that watch specifically? Why do you wear that watch every day? Well, we're going to talk about that today because that's kind of the theme of this episode. Also, I have a dedicated playlist, honestly, just chock full of everyday watches. So if you're not interested in Rolex specifically, maybe you want some other options, uh, click up there and watch those videos. But today, we're gonna be talking about why I tend to wear a Rolex every day. It's 2.15 p.m., let's get down to business. Alright, so I pretty much wear a Rolex every day. Doesn't mean I never wear any other kinds of watches, because let's face it, I have a fairly large collection and I'm a watch lover. I just tend to go back to this one watch and it happens to be a Rolex. Now, most of the information in this episode is based around the specific Rolex that I tend to wear, and I'm talking about my Rolex Date 1500, a watch most of my longtime viewers will be fairly familiar with. Okay, so out of every watch I own, what is it about this Rolex that makes me choose it every day? All right, well, first things first, it's only 34 millimeters. Now, again, it does have an oyster case, so it wears a little bit larger, but I'm gonna go ahead and take off my Explorer 2, and you'll see what this 34 millimeter watch looks like on my seven and a half inch wrists. All right, so here it is, my Rolex Date 1500, 34 millimeters. Uh, the specs will be showing up on the screen as well when it comes to lug to lug. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just very kind of simple, out of the way, easy to wear, very comfortable. Um, not a huge piece of material on the wrist at any time. Um, just very simple and easy to wear. And kind of piggybacking off that point, it's pretty unobtrusive. Like, I understand, it's a Rolex, but this isn't really an eye catcher. Now, I'm not dissing this watch because I honestly think this is a perfectly executed, incredibly detailed watch when you know where to look, um, but there's not a whole bunch going on, and it's not too gaudy, not too blingy, not too flashy, doesn't get the unwanted attention. Um, if you know what you have, you know what you have, but no one would really look twice at it and think, Rolex. And guys, listen, I don't always want that attention. I kind of like having a very simple everyday watch. The third reason I wear a Rolex every day is because, specifically with this one, oyster case, threaded crown, at least a 100 meter water resistance rating. Now, I'm not scuba diving every day, but this is a watch I can throw on the wrist and let's say I go to the beach, let's say I go into the pool, let's say I do whatever, it starts raining, I don't have to worry about it because this watch, it's tough. It's only 34 millimeters, but it's kind of a beast. So guys, while we're talking about this watch's attributes, it's got a date complication. Now the date complication is honestly one of the most underrated complications a watch can have. Guys, I almost never forget what day of the week it is, but I very regularly forget what the date is. So having that complication on my everyday watch, it's very, very helpful. Now one downside of this watch is that it doesn't have a quick set complication, so I always make sure to have this watch on a winder, it's always running, so I don't have to, you know, have it die and then forget about it and then have to go all the way around uh, the clock a bunch to get to the proper date. That's the one downside of this specific movement. And yes, I mentioned this watch does not have the quick set complication, which means it's probably circa 1967. Uh, this watch from the 1960s, I trust it. Okay, that's the next point. I trust this watch each and every day. Again, it's very old, very much older than myself. I've never had an issue with it ever. It is probably one of the most reliable, one of the most accurate watches I own. And uh, again, from the 60s, that ain't bad. Which brings us to my favorite part of this episode. I've been looking forward to filming this for a very long time. The sheer versatility of this Rolex date is second to none. Uh, yes, here it is on an oyster bracelet. Looks pretty sporty, but I suppose I could wear this with a suit and tie in a formal occasion. No problems whatsoever, but there are some other options that this watch, it just looks perfect. The combinations are endless. Let's just look at those.
So yeah, it's a versatile piece. It looks good in a lot of different occasions with a lot of different strap options. Um, but guys, the final point, the final reason I wear Rolex every day, um, specifically this one, is because it was my first Rolex. So there's definitely some sentimental value there. And uh, I just really enjoy it. And it means something to me being a watch collector. But uh, I would love to hear from you. What do you find yourself wearing every day and why? Leave that in the comment section below. Well guys, I had a whole bunch of fun filming this episode and it's always fun taking a closer look at some of the watches I've already shared with you. And I know I'm gonna get some heat for saying, uh, oh, I wear a Rolex every day. People are gonna immediately be triggered by that. Oh, you're just showing off. You just wanna show off your Rolex. Uh, no, I wear a bunch of different watches and I love each and every one that I own and I don't exclusively own Rolexes. Um, but yeah, there's, this, is, this episode might just be for me. It might just be um, sharing with you why I tend to pull this watch out more than the other ones. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. So guys, if you enjoyed it and if you learned something, then please consider supporting the channel and clicking that subscribe button, hitting the bell icon so you do not miss out on any of the content we're doing here. Special thanks to my certified T3 bots, my channel members. Click the join button next to the subscribe button. It's kind of like YouTube's Patreon. We get most of our support here on the channel from the channel members, so thank you so much to you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with everyone you know. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. Always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. All right guys, so the last look I was gonna do with my Rolex is a leather strap, because I think leather is very, very versatile, especially if you're gonna be wearing it every day. Doesn't need to be formal. Leather doesn't always need to be formal, but it can be formal and it can be worn casually. And so I just wanna thank Man Cave Leather for custom making me a 19 millimeter strap for my Rolex dates, 19 millimeter lugs, kind of an obscure sizing. But uh, yeah, turnaround time, I asked them if they could make it. They said yes. Uh, Mikola is a very, very nice dude. And his wife takes so much time packaging these straps with such care. Look at this. And they're not doing this for me just because I'm the time teller. They did supply me with this strap free of charge. So thank you so much. But when you order these straps, this is how they are packaged for you. They didn't just do this because I'm on YouTube. Um, look at this. You really do get what you pay for. These are pricey-ish straps, but they're made with care, and this attention to detail, uh, it definitely translates to the product. So we're gonna um, definitely take a look at the product on the watch, but um, I've done a Man Cave leather strap review. You can click up here on the corner to watch it, but um, I would be remiss um, if I didn't show you just you know how much care went into packaging this product. So I went with kind of just your standard brown leather, and uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Handmade by my boy in Ukraine, Mikola Man Cave Leather. Thank you so much for the strap.